Guys, welcome back. So today I'm doing some a bit of a comparison, let's call it that. So you all know, if you've seen my channel before, this is the Vos 300 Rally. This is my bike. I absolutely love this bike. But a friend of mine was convinced that you need more power. So he's gone for a bigger bike and it's orange. So let's just cut to what he's got because I'm going to have a go on that today and see, is it worth paying the extra money for the extra power? Is it? Let's have a look. This is his bike. As if by magic. Aesthetically, similar sort of size. This one feels a little bit higher and the Vosges is already quite high for me. So this is going to be a bit of a challenge today getting on this. But if you don't know what it is, it is KTM 690 and it's the Enduro. I've already done a review on the 690 SMC. Essentially the same bike. The only difference is this has got the bigger wheels. It's got the off-road tires and it's just a more off-road bias bike. Whereas the SMC is a road going bike. Same engine, same horsepower, same everything pretty much. It's just... This one is built to get dirty. Let's have a little ride and we'll see how we get on. I'm gonna throw my leg over this bike, wish me luck. This is where I need to get my splits done because my bike's tall, I've already told you that. This is much taller. My God, this is gonna be an effort. Okay. Right. So one legged job, that's how I'm gonna to have to do this bike. So if I try and get both legs down, because of where I'm positioned here, where it's been parked, this bike will fall that way because it's kind of got a bit of a, let's say a, a bit of a groove at this side. So it will be slightly off. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge today with this one. Let's have a, a little ride, and while we're on the dirty stuff, I might as well just do a bit of a ride round here first, just to see exactly how it performs. Stay with me. Okay, so this is already louder than my bike on idle, but I'll have a little go of it round here in the dirty stuff. We'll see what it's like. Wish me luck. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Slow manoeuvring is all right, actually. Let's see. Get me balance right. So now we're on levelish ground. You can see I am tiptoeing, tiptoeing on both sides, or I can just put a foot down, tiptoes as it is. Right, let's give it a go up here. Let's go. Okay, so I've kept my wireless mic on, so hopefully you can still hear me. It's a very comfortable bike, this. Hello. Jesus. Okay, little assessment off-road, really nice. When you're on the move, you can feel the difference with the power, certainly you can. But I'm petrified because it's so bloody tall. Just doing a little turn, just coming to a stop, it's getting used to the height, which I'm not actually used to at the minute. It will take some time, I'm sure, but uh, practice. It's all about practice, getting used to the height difference. But I don't know, initial impressions are very, I don't know. I don't know whether for me the height and how it feels is something that I would be considering paying twice the amount to get something like this instead of my Vosge. It is just a little video today. I'm not gonna do any road riding on this bike and it's purely because it is that tall 
I wouldn't be confident if we're on the roads and I've got to put my feet down quickly. I don't know whether I could do it without dropping it genuinely. Small person problems, I know, but I don't know whether this would suit me as a road bike. It's just too, it's just too tall. Lovely off road, but yeah, I think my, my summary is it's just too tall for me. However, if you are one of these giants and you are quite tall, then yeah, consider it, go and have a ride on one, definitely worth it. They've got loads of power, it sticks to the floor. It's a nice looking bike, do you make your mind up yourself? But for now, I'm gonna jump back on the Vosges where I feel a bit more comfortable and I feel a little bit safer because <laughs> these little legs can touch the floor a little bit easier. So for now, catch you on the next one guys. Laters.